Conservatives are beginning to fight back against big tech censorship with a new dark money group being formed. When America's Jack Posobiec sat down with their senior advisor to learn more. We're very excited to welcome here to One America News, Rachel Bovard, the senior advisor to a new group that's just getting started here in Washington, D.C., the Internet Accountability Project. Tell me about IAP. It's a group that has a goal of creating a, an open space for us to have a discussion about what big tech is doing to us as a, as a society from a cultural perspective, but also the bad acts that they've been involved in, in terms of sex trafficking, extremism, bias, uh, all these areas, we want to be able to discuss in an open way to provide more transparency and accountability to big tech in these areas. So what's going on there and where is this accountability? Because I think that's what people are looking for. There's a huge sort of groundswell of support for accountability on these big tech firms, but our public policy doesn't reflect that. And you're starting to see lawmakers engage on this question um, a little bit, but we want to help them engage more. You know, we want to help them have the discussion of, to say, yes, there are problems here. So what are some of the top issues you're going to focus on coming out of the gate? So we're going to focus on bias in particular. I, you know, we're a conservative organization, and conservatives, I think, are disproportionately affected. Um, our own tweet, IAP's own tweet, was marked sensitive this morning, uh, simply because someone was tweeting out an article about us. Uh, but we're also going to focus on some of the policy angles involved here, so Section 230 reform the Communications Decency Act, which basically allows these companies to sort of publish whatever they want and have no accountability for it. Um, that particular law was written in 1996 when none of these big tech companies existed. So that, com or that part of the law hasn't really envisioned how we live now in how we relate to these tech companies and how the tech companies relate to us. And there's legislators out there, Senator Josh Hawley from Missouri is one of them, who's put forward uh, modernization bills to sort of look at this. You know, we don't know that that's the right answer. It may be, it may not be, but we want more legislators to start investigating this, to start looking at how our laws need to be reformed or updated to keep pace with technological innovation. And the same goes for antitrust. Uh, you've seen just this week, 50 state AGs have come forward with an antitrust investigation into uh, Google. Facebook, Google, Amazon, Twitter, they have all of our data and we have no recourse for how they use that. You know, they say trust us, but we've seen elements of where that's not uh, appropriate, right? Google, for instance, says, hey, trust us, we're never gonna censor anything. Meanwhile, Google for four years ran a government-sponsored censorship regime in China. So why are we supposed to trust them? There aren't, There is no accountability and there is no law that's gonna force them and there's no consequence right now if they break those laws. We do wanna keep protect that innovative space. That's what makes America great. That's what makes our companies the most successful in the world. We want people to innovate, but we want them to do so in a way that's healthy for our society and in which you know people can have choice and options and preferences uh, and free speech. Where can people go to find more information? You can find us at theiap.org and you can find us obviously on all the social media as well. Fantastic. Rachel Barber, thank you so much for being on with us. Thanks IAP. for having me. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.